Today's episode is ray tracing. I'm your host, the professor. But today, you can call me Ray. The goal of ray tracing is to attempt to draw a realistic scene onto your computer screen. So the first thing we need to do is to have a scene. The next thing we have to determine is what that scene is going to look like when viewed through the computer screen. Now the computer screen is a bunch of little squares called pixels. Every single pixel has to be given a color based on what is in the scene. In order to make this determination, we're going to want to look through that pixel and see what color it should be painted based on the scene. In order to correctly render the geometry of our scene, we need to think about more than just the computer screen itself. We need to think about what's going on behind the computer screen, specifically the point of view. For this, we're going to need an eye. Hi, eye. We need to fix the position of the eye behind the computer screen. A little lower, I think, I Have a seat. Now, for every single pixel on our screen, we're going to have to determine what the eye is going to see if it looks through that pixel. In order to do that, we need to compute a ray starting at the eye. That's okay. You're just a computer. We run it. We run this ray through the pixel and out into our scene where it will intersect an object. And we compute that point of intersection. As the ray leaves the computer screen and goes out into the scene, it might intersect with more than one object. Of course, we only want to paint the object that's closest to the screen. In order to figure out which object in the scene is closest, we'll have to do some very simple math. Once we've figured out which object is being hit by our ray, the next step is to figure out what color the ray will see. This is dependent not only on the color of the object itself, but how much light is falling on it. For example, if there are no lights in the room, everything that you see is going to be black. Of course, we do have lights in our scene, and in order to figure out how much each light is contributing to the color of the surface, we need another ray. We take the ray, from our surface, and we draw it over to our light source. How much light is being contributed by this light source depends upon the angle between the light source and the surface. Of course, we also have to worry about objects getting in the way of the light source. When objects do get in the way of the light, this causes shadow. Of course, some surfaces are shinier than cardboard boxes. Take, for example, a mirror. When you look at a mirror, you don't see the mirror. You see whatever is reflected in the mirror. Once again, we'll need to compute a ray. From there, through the screen, out to our reflective object, And then, we compute the angle of reflection from this point, and it continues out somewhere else in our scene. Striking the object. So now, when the eye looks at this object, it sees something reflected from somewhere else in the scene. Once you've drawn a ray through every single pixel on the screen, your scene is complete. Now you're ready to write your own ray tracer. It's just that easy. I'll give you ambient light. And that concludes our episode on ray tracing. Thank you for watching Easy Computer Science. We are tracing.
fancy program. <laughs> <laughs> Out somewhere else in the sea. <laughs> Silencer, cell phones, papers, pagers. We're rolling. We are rolling. <laughs>